Yes. <laughs> My name is Emma, and I am an artificial intelligence program in service of the Elysium Corporation. What you are seeing is the latest satellite footage of our engagement with the Stroll Mutants. As our current forces fight, our soldiers are also gathering field samples for future analysis in our base. This will lead to our better understanding of how these mysterious enemies operate. Present forces include two assault marines, a heavy support unit, a marksman specialist, a field medic, and a high-ranking Terminator officer. Their mission is to clear out densely infected areas that are capable of generating hostile bio-variations. Although one marine is the commanding officer, the whole team has to work in perfect accordance. Failure to do so would lead to quick eradication of our troops in the field. Our soldier is being attacked by the so-called Devourer Mutant. After a short communication with a fellow Assault Marine, the threat is identified and exterminated. The threat is far from gone. Some soldiers had to stay outside and maintain a defensive perimeter, while others look for critical supplies. When working as a team, our troops' survivability and lethality are drastically increased. Each soldier has their own role to fill while donning a unique combat suit. Heavies excel at providing suppressive fire. Medics treat injuries, while marksmen are great at taking down targets from afar. Finally, Terminators and Assaulters specialize in aggressive combat engagement. Our Marines are also using an advanced form of liquid nitrogen to pacify certain targets. This can lead to a live capture of the mutant, which will be vivisected later by our research teams. As you can see through the standard Marine user interface, each unit has limited inventory space. This requires rational usage of acquired assets, as everything can't be carried. Our ground forces are being overrun at the moment and are trying to regroup. They will try and form a line that maximizes their fire projection on the Stroll Mutants. Unit down. One Marine has been incapacitated. Scans suggest they are in critical condition. Other troops are now trying to secure a defensive perimeter. Revival node has been deployed, but it will take some time before the fallen Marine is fully recovered. Other units will continue to provide cover. The unit is back online. Although suffering some penalties, the recovered Marine rejoins the team. The mission can now continue. The mutant cluster is now fully aware of Marine presence. It is becoming more aggressive, adding pressure to our team. As evident from the footage, the combat is taking place during difficult weather conditions. They are being caused by the red solstice phenomenon, which interferes with advanced field scans. As a result, our troops are always deployed in unknown localities, as if they were randomly generated in each mission. One Marine has destroyed a civilian vehicle, causing it to explode and thus taking out a mutant threat. Usage of environmental hazards are recommended to preserve munitions. In addition to vehicles, Marines can use fuel tanks, gas pipes, and other means to cause severe damage to infrastructure and enemy units. Ground forces are scanning the area for better target acquisition. The enemy's numbers are dwindling, but this will change soon. A moment of respite will always be an introduction to a new lethal wave of stronger mutants. Executor, you are expected to join your Marines in every engagement. In addition to surgical strikes like the one you are observing now, you will also be supervising the global activities of our organization. You will try to thwart stroll infestation while also balancing research, engineering, and resource management activities. Our troops have encountered biomass, a thick layer of living soil that spreads across the Martian surface. Its presence suggests that our team's objective is close. However, the stroll mutants will defend their biomass with extreme measures. Destroying critical areas of biomass is imperative to the mission. Mutant bio-variations are engaging the Marines as they try to defend a nest. Cooperation is crucial at this moment, as any mistakes can lead to catastrophic casualties. Mars needs you. Do not betray your species.
Hello. Guten Tag, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. So, so again, a question from me. Um, um, there's obviously a, a, a ton of top-down shooters uh, of that kind out there. What do you, what would you say, um, very briefly and, and direct? What's your USP? Where do you say that this is your, the biggest strength of the game compared to others? Real-time X where squad is your friends, exactly like that. Okay. On point. Okay, then, <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and ask a second one. What is the biggest improvement from um, Red Solstice One? Oh, basically, Red Solstice One was one mission, one map, maybe a few maps later when we added. But the biggest improvement that I can say is basically controls. It's much more intuitive. It will be more intuitive, and a huge strategy layer. We. That's why I mentioned XCOM. You have this meta, you're fighting and defending the entire planet on a procedurally generated missions, procedurally generated, generated uh, missions uh, environment and all the situations. You have a context. You're not going into the mission and, okay, I've done my li tiny little mission and I don't have rewards to get it. Basically, you go into a mission and you're fighting for a long-term cause, a campaign which can be played with friends or alone, and it's a huge, huge planet you have to defend as an important guy who is called Executor. And you have to basically make moral decisions. You have this entire context, basically. So to put it short, it's that strategy layer context when you research and build your base and all other stuff. Thank you. 